okay so welcome back so on this video let's handle this quantity select on the card page all right first of all I go back to my vs code and in here in the card.js i will simply display here the here the quantity of the product also oh so not uh, yes quantity so item dot quantity simply save it go back reload it so you can see that now it is two okay so we also have to update it so i simply go back to my uh, product product details and let's just copy these two functions so copy Control c and put them right here okay so you also have to bring in the yeah, so i already have here so what i do is i simply check that i don't have to now select this one instead i simply type here const new qty view quantity is equal to quantity 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 plus one okay then i will check that if the new qty is greater than or equal to the product uh, the stock okay i have also passed in here the id of the product then the quantity and then the stock okay i will check that if the new quantity is greater than or equal to the stock i will simply return all right else i simply have to dispatch dispatch and pass in here add to cart item add item to cart and pass in here the id of that product and then the new quantity okay and same for this so i simply copy it so control c put that here so new qty will be minus one this time so if it is less than or equal to the one then i will simply return else i will pass in here okay so i simply go back in here and i simply type here that on oops on click i simply have to pass in the arrow function i have to uh, decrease decrease qty and pass in here first of all the id of that product that is item dot quantity and then item item dot the quantity okay and in this we don't have to pass in the stock or we only have to pass in the id and the quantity because we are not using stock here okay so we have to only pass in here the quantity and then the oh that is item dot product id and the quantity and i simply copy this one so control c and i put that right here so that is increase quantity so id quantity and then the stock so item oops, item dot stock right so simply save it and i think so that it will work so I simply go back reload the page so now for example if i want to update this i simply click on plus so now it is 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 oh we, we have to remove this from here okay simply save it and also you have to put in here zero instead of one so we save it and now if i go back reload it if i decrease it now you can see that the quantity still remains 12 10 if i reload the page okay because it is dispatching add to cart when i click on this button so now 11 if i click on reload now it is still 11. so if i go back to one now i cannot go back here all right so let's put in here three reload and now it is three okay 
So now we are successfully selecting the quantity also on our card page. So in my next video, before uh, calculating this order summary, I want to remove, I have to handle this delete button if I want to remove any product from the card, right? So I will handle the remove card item in my next video. Okay, so I'll come back to this course. So now in this video, let's handle this delete button. If I want to delete the card item from this card, so I have to also do that. So let's simply go back to my previous code and now let's go to our uh, first of all the uh, constants, card constants. We have to define here the the remove item card. Okay, so remove item card or remove card item, whatever you want to call it. So we save it. Oh, that is capital E. Go to the reducer, card reducer, bring that in, and here I simply type is so I simply have to return from here whatever in this state oops, okay, and then the card items. So I simply type here car state dot card items dot filter. So you have to filter the product. So I uh, then I dot product if it is not equal to the action dot payload. So action dot payload will be the ID of that product that I want to remove from the card. So I will filter out all the products instead that I want to delete. Right? Simply so save it go to the action card actions and in that i simply copy this one so control c put that right here so that is remove oh, that is remove item from card and have to pass in here the ID of that product. Okay. And now we simply uh, dispatch here this. Put that here and also have to bring that in here. So type is this and then the payload is going to be the ID of that product. This one. And then I have to set here local sorry dot set items card items and that's it. Okay. So they save it. And now if I go back to my card and let's define here here. Also have to bring in this move item from card. Okay, so const that is remove card item handler will be equal to the arrow function. In it, I simply have dispatch. So dispatch here the uh, remove item. Remove item from card, and I have to pass in the ID, and I go to the bottom. Uh, where it is this is the delete button. So on collect, I will simply pass in here the remove card item handler, and pass in the item dot product. So to save it. And if I go back to the dot page, now let's delete this first item. If I click on delete, so it is not working. So we console. So there is some error. So we have to replace the class with the class name. And then um, Simply go back 
let's first of all replace this class with the class name. So control H. Simply save it. Let's first of all get my volumes. So reload this page. Back. In the console. Oh, we have also passed in the key. So get this. So on this card item I will pass in here the key. That is going to be item dot product. So save it. And now let's get this one. So on click. Okay, so that is remove card handler item dot product dispatch invited from card pass in the ID the user oh we have also removed this one simply save it now if I go back reload the page click on the link you will see that the item is gone now I have one item and also here it is also updated alright if I reload it then that item is gone if I place this one now your card is empty why it is not here card that is so that is class name okay so now the card is empty alright so now my next video say I'm add here an item in the card the card I want to uh, calculate this summary if I if I change the quantity here you know, I also have to uh, type here the units like two units and then the total estimated price okay so I will calculate that price in my next video okay so I'll come back to this course so now we are done with our card screen we just have to handle this order summary we have to uh, dynamically change the subtotal uh, sub the units okay and then the estimated total right so total total price of the product that i have selected so I simply go back to my vs code and let's close all these i simply go to the bottom and now handle this one so instead of here the units i simply move this three and i put here remember we have used the reduce function in our ratings so we have to use the same function here so that is card items because I have reduced the multiple values into one value. So card items dot dot reduce. Okay. So card item dot reduce. And in that I also have the accumulator. Um, then the item. Okay. And I simply put in here accumulator plus I wrap the quantity in the number so that is going to be the item dot quantity okay and then I put in here the zero simply save it now if I go back you will see here two units if I click on three you will see here three units in fact if I go back and let's and let's add this in the I card. If I go to the card, we will see here I have four units. So three plus one four. If I increase this one, or there are five units. Okay. So now I can also change this one. Now let's handle this price also. The logic is simple that we have used in the ratings. So I will use reduce function here. Then whatever the previous value, I will add the item quantity again and again in the accumulator. And at the end we get the one value that is our final final result all right so i simply copy this from here so copy control c and just put it here so card items dot reduce then accumulator then let's simply remove this one i have to basically 
multiply item dot quantity I have to multiply it with the item dot price okay so what are the quant for example this has two quant so I have to multiply by this two with this value and then add it all right and then if I simply save it now go back and reload it and now you can see that I have $851. If I increase this one, you can see that the price is changed. Increase this one, price is changing. Now let's, I have to display two values after decimal. So I simply go back and put in here uh, dot two fixed and two fixed, I simply pass in here two. Okay. Let's simply save it. If I go back and reload it, um, if I go back, oh, we have to remove the six from here, so we save it. Now if I go back, and now I have two values here after decimal. Okay, so whatever you change here, it is going to change dynamically. So now we are done with our card, we can also delete the card items from here, like this, and it is also changed. So we are done with our card and on the next video section basically you have to handle the all checkout and the order process. So I have to check out from here. I have to provide the shipping information. Then I have to confirm my order. Like I have to just take a look at my order. And then I have to uh, give the payments I through Stripe. Okay. Then after the payments I have to create new order and save that order in the database. So this is the procedure that we have to follow in our next section all right so i hope that you understand so that's it for this video i will see you in the next section